Exactly, and what you're talking about is expectation setting. And expectation setting, especially when you are talking to your audience and you are taking the most valuable resource they have for your customers, which is their time. It's non-renewable. They only have a certain number of hours in every day, and they have all kinds of things that are being asked for them at any given time. And it's such a simple thing, but it's really, really helpful to set their expectations at the beginning of your presentation, your demo, the story you're telling them about how your solution or service is gonna help them with their business or make their life better, to let them know, even if it's almost like a throwaway comment, how much time you're gonna be talking to them, how much time the story is, is going to take. For instance, uh, in a real life situation, our children, like many people's children right now, are blessedly going back to actual physical school for the most part. And so it's been a bit of an adjustment. And one of the things that we've had to adjust to is our morning routine. And our daughter is starting third grade and she likes to be able to take as much time as she wants to do <laughs> her morning routine before she's out the door, which causes a little bit of a problem for us because there's a finite amount of time after she gets up until she needs to be there for first bell. Uh, my wife and I struggled for the first several days in order to figure out, like, she's just having a really hard time struggling with this. It causes us to have a bad rapport with her before she goes because it's kind of like she's uh, asserting dominance and <laughs> we're having to adjust to it. And so something that was so simple and uh, was so brilliant that my wife came up with was she got one of these little digital timers and she let our daughter set it at the beginning of her breakfast so she could see exactly how much time she had to eat her breakfast, to read a little bit, and to get her backpack on before I, I walk her across this, the street to school. Uh, and it's such a subtle thing, but just her brain knowing that this is how much time I have and her brain not being distracted by, I wonder how much time I have, do I have enough time to do the things I wanna do? Her brain is completely freed up to just concentrate on what she's doing and to enjoy herself. And I say this because third graders and adults that you're presenting to and telling your stories to have a lot more in common than you might think. We still, as audience members, we wanna know how long this is gonna take so that we can manage our own attention spans. So if you tell your audience at the beginning of your story, like, hey, I'm going to help you out with something that's going to solve this problem for you in your business, and it's gonna take 15 minutes. For the last two minutes, I'm gonna answer any questions that you have. It can be that simple, and then you just start your story. You start telling them about how your solution or your service uh, or, or how you are going to help them. And it can be that easy, but just watch how much easier it is for your audience's brain to relax and just concentrate on you and your message instead of wondering how long this is gonna take, where are we, things like that. And there's more advanced ways to do that as well as you go through your presentations so that you're constantly checking in with them and their brains can just relax and be on your message. But I, that's what I would say is for expectation setting, expectation setting for time can be so important and it can be really subtle. Just mentioning at the beginning of your story, your demo or presentation. Give it a try. It will really, really help with what you're talking about.